Today I'm gonna be playing a league with Blue Moon featuring the new additions from Mother Horizons in Merktide Regent and Counterspell and see how it performs. Here we are in the first match with Blue Moon on the play and this hand seems pretty alright. So we'll just keep and turn one, probably go with edge for Siemens and opt. I don't think we can get down a reach and turn two, so that's gonna wait. Or maybe, well, if we're up against Tron, well, I think I'm still gonna just up tier. Thought scouring would require us to draw another fetch land, which isn't really guaranteed. We'll just play Surf of the Falls and pass the turn. Counterspell can answer everything they throw at us, but it's gonna be hard to get down the threat unless we draw force of negation. Chase also rather hard to get to stick. And Lightning Bolt doesn't do much as well. So our hands are pretty tight here. We just have to hope we can draw either Counter Spell or Force of Negation next turn, since we'll probably have to expand our counter spell on whatever threat they play here and next time we're either if we draw counter spell we can play region oh interesting ever flowing chalice so it's an drossy tron oh no it's the it's the storm counter storm deck. Interesting. I think I'm just gonna let everything of this resolve and yeah, that can resolve as well. I'm not familiar with their payoff, to be honest, but I'm just going to get down the Murktide Regent here, and hopefully that's enough to win. Merktide is gonna be big. So that's nice. An 884 to mana on turn 4 with counter spell backup is nothing to sneeze at. This will probably get them Urza Saga. If I'm correct, or now in Winter's Fair. But whatever they can get here, we can just counter. <laughs> uh, 
Then, yeah. Inventors fair resolved. They get the Mystic Forge and will just counter that. And now on our turn, if we literally draw, well, we drew Snappy, so we don't have to say chase and hope. We can just attack with the Regent, and if they play something, we can snap Counterspell. And if they don't have anything, we can snap bolt. There's... I don't think this is gonna do it for them. I'm just going to let it result. They can gain life with it if they want to. But it doesn't look like they're going for that. What can they do? They could... They can't cast Emrakul here. Could play one of the other Titans, possibly even Ulamog. There's a big challenge. Yeah, resolves and looks like they don't have anything. We can just snap a bolt, and that's the game. Okay, well, in this matchup, we definitely won Shatterstorm and the Braids. The other things don't really do anything. Maybe Soul Guide Lantern, but that seems also kind of oh, maybe. Maybe Blood Moon could work, yeah. Blood Moon against Saga seems okay. And going down, the one thing that stands out are the bolts. Everything else has its job. So I'm just gonna cut the bolt for the other right card and Try it like that. This hand is rather sketchy. I would like to have... There's no way we're gonna cast Regent anytime soon and while Shatterstorm is powerful, it's way too slow if we don't have anything else. This hand, on the other hand, is risky, but for the exact opposite reason. They've mal to six, so I think I'm just gonna keep and hope we draw a second land soon. Because the upgrade should buy us some time if we can get to the second land. Uh, 
And we don't hit it. Hopefully thoughts go tonight something. Chalice of the Void or one. Okay, now we definitely have to hit a land. And we don't, we mill no land. Nice. Okay, they are on three. I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade their map here. The chalice doesn't really do that much right now and if we can keep them low on resources we're gonna have a hard time doing things that really threaten us. Earl Saga is not great here. Yeah. And Snaring Bridge doesn't really scare me that much since we have artifact removal and we can also win using Chase. So I don't see why they would even play it because now they can't attack with their construct. Seems like an interesting choice to play. Now we just have to hope that we Lands, which we don't, great. Now they can make two constructs, but with bridge in play, they can't even attack with them. So I'm not sure why they even play bridge here. The question is what they can get with the Ursa Saga. Hmm. If they get Python Needle on name and Torment script. Okay. Interesting. It doesn't do nothing here, but it's not quite as well. Karn is a card that I would have loved to counter, but oh well. Looks like we'll be losing this one. There's not really a way in which we can win against Karn here since we can't even manage to draw another land. Ah, oh, well. If we had parts on negation the previous turn, maybe it could have worked out, but like this, I don't see a way out of this. Now they're gonna assemble Tron and Oh, well. The concert with 
and no, it's a like tower and activate charm for whatever card they have in their sidebar. Like my metal clothing. Yeah, we're gonna have to counter that one. Sure. And still no third land. Here it is. I could see a way in which we win this. And that is by them trying absolutely nothing for a bunch of turns in a row and us just answering every threat they play of card. Another coating means we have to counter spell again. Now we take two from the construct attacking and I would be surprised if they were on all blacks here. Yeah, Mystic Forge and that's probably the game. Unless Ah, uh, well, second Mystic Forge is gonna do it. Interesting Schneer is to kill the Karn and Try one of the forges. They're still gonna have a fort going forward, but hopefully they're just gonna whiff a bunch. Well. Second card, and that's the game. Yeah. If we hit a second land sooner, we would have been able to win, but we didn't. Or if we hit for some negation of one of the odds. So, yeah. This hand is pretty much exactly what we want. I'm not so sure if we want to play Blood Moon on 3 or instead keep open the Art Mage's charms. But that will... We'll see how things play out. There's a tower and start gonna chalice on zero. Okay, and here's a node. So we'll just go ahead and that score ourselves. So Power. And counter spell allows us to just sit here and wait for now. I can add a counter to that one. The other place, there's map, 
and Ursa Sara. Okay, I think I'm gonna not moon here since that destroys Ursa Sara, putting them off one land. So they can't really put down anything that cost four. And since we drew an other island, we can Artemisia's charm even after we moon. Yeah, as expected, they just have to crack. Probably getting island here. I'm not sure what blue spells they even have. Oh, they were getting a power plant or another map. Okay. We'll just pass it back to them if we can get something that can destroy the chalice. We're gonna be in great shape. I kinda wanna just counter that yeah and they don't have anything they can play for three mana so I'll just pass the turn and answer whatever they play with counter spells and hope we get to the ending. If we manage to get a one art mages charm freely, it should definitely get us to remove. Now oh, here's another town. I think I'm gonna let this one resolve. Rich doesn't really matter to me, so I'm gonna just draw two. I'm gonna just destroy the mana here so that they don't have any to go have fun. I'm gonna just have to naturally draw more. And if we can keep them hon honest here, we definitely should win. Would like to hit some more islands. They're not. Yeah. And now we do pass again and see whatever they can play.
Mystic Fort. We're going to counter that one. Yeah. I'm gonna play a second moon just to make sure if they have a bounce spell. And whatever they play here, we're just gonna counter. I'd love to get ahead at some point because for now we're just kind of trading counter spells for threats, which is not exactly where we want to be. If we could draw. Cryptic commands, that would be great. Chalice on L0, but they're making it one. Interesting. I think I'm gonna draw two cards here. And pass turn back to them. Well, we have to counter this one with force of negation. And now we're just top deck again. Kind of unfortunate that we didn't draw anything good. Cryptic command still available. I'm just going to mark tight exiling some stuff in case we draw an answer to their bridge. Um, I'm gonna just continue to pass back and counter anything they say. Opt. Yes, guys. Challenged. Or um, well, it's not really a threat. The problem for us is that well, they can put another counter on Charles to. Validate our counter spell. 
So that's not great to be honest. Uh, that's interesting. The fact that they didn't put the chalice on two, but instead just to go with three. I'm gonna just tap down one of their lines, even though it's probably not gonna matter. Just to draw a card. This Mari command would have been a reason to keep some of the lands in hand. Well, it might have been better to already start attacking with the Martite Regent. However, we have to upgrade as chalice, so now we can wait and upgrade a uh, prismari command dealing to damage to them and destroying bridge. And with two counter spells up, we should have this one in the back. Unless they play something I'm not expecting here. Even if they have an Eldrazi Titan, I'm not sure it actually will win here. A bridge can be countered. And that's the game and the match. GG. Here we are in the second match with Blue Moon on the play. And while this hand could use the third land, it's definitely a keep. Since we have early interaction in the form of Fire and ice, and if we manage to hit our third land by turn three, we can Archmage's turn to get us through the first few turns. And we also have that moon in case we need the. Looks like we're up against affinity. I kind of don't, almost don't want to fetch here, but I think it's worth preserving the life here. Depending on the what they play here, fire fire could be pretty good. Welding char okay. And throw might. Well I think I'm gonna Kill that one with fire and on one hand, Blood Moon would shut down their artifact lands, but it also would shut down our Archmage's charm. 
So I think I'm gonna just play the island and pass the turn for now. If they don't do anything too threatening, we can draw two. And if we have the counter, we'll just counter. I would rather not let them draw two, so I'm just gonna counter spell here. They're almost out of cards, but we are struggling to find the land. Yeah, now that they didn't play anything, I'm just gonna divination with the charm. Still no land. Well, this is problematic, finally. And uh, now we just keep open counter spells. There's a saga. We can answer that one with that one. So I'm just gonna snap and can't rip. Because I would like to leave open counter spell after the blood moon. So it would be great if we could hit the land here. No. Oh well. But we definitely have to blood moon. And then we can just get in for two. And that's the game even. Okay. Must have had a little back on that saga. As far as sideboarding in this matchup goes, I am not so sure that Black Moon is good since it's only really good against Saga and on the play it might be okay but on the draw it's definitely too slow so I don't know, I'm gonna bring it in. For now, we'll see what I do next game, but as far as red spells go, all of them are coming in. I probably want to go down some Archmage's charms, some actual counter spells, and maybe Chase. The force of negations are pretty good at stifling their mana when we don't have a lot of mana for ourselves, so I'd rather keep them in or maybe cut one and try it like that. Maybe we need to keep in the chases to win the game through them having a whiteboard, but I think it's we aren't gonna win those games anyway. So I think it's better to just Go with the removal 
for everything to end. Also, I'm not sure how good the Anger of the Gods actually are in this deck, since the mana... The mana is really skewed towards... Yeah, I'll play the interesting. The mana is really skewed towards blue, since we need a lot of blue to be able to cast Archmage's Charm and Counter Spell. I'm not sure how good it is here. Black Moon is, as I said, gonna be a bit too slow here. If we were on the play, it will get rid of the construct, but as it is now, they're gonna get the construct here. It's gonna shut off the second chapter of the saga. But that's gonna be everything. Just Blood Moon and see what I can do. And they make a construct up. Now it's a uh, Still a far for so we can deal with it by taking art monitor not great not great but I will hmm. Shatterstorm might be a <laughs> that bit away. Yeah. Depending on what I do here, I'm gonna bounce the Karnstrong or Well, if they're gonna do that, I think I'm just gonna... Pull this guy. And Snapcaster Mage. To block the Fromite. Would be great to flash back another ball, but as I said, uh, and I really skewed towards blue. Since we have a lot of double and triple blue cards. We'll have to take five here. Not really a ton we can do about it. They have to play an artifact here, or we can, oh well. If they don't play an artifact, we can kill the construct with flame slash, which would be awesome. It's a far far so yeah we can get rid of it and we can also deal with the emery by casting fire. Then we can even deploy Murktide region. 
Az on eight Still a seven time. Since I want to keep scour bolt and and maybe I could have even exiled scour as well. There's that monitor drawing two cards. The Marktide Regent is gonna play Locking Duty for now. We can counter whatever they might throw our way with Cryptic Command. So we should be okay here. I'm just going to try it here. And now whatever they say we're going to counter draw. Salamander well. We're dead to double Galvanic glass, but there's not a lot we can do about that. We can deal with the Emery by building it. And now there are two cards in that. Archimedes Charm is gonna either counter the next thing or draw two cards and here's the plating, that's okay the last can card in hand could be a galvanic blast so that has to be kept in mind. So I'm just gonna cast Marktide Regent for a lot. Pretty can go as well, scour. Yeah. And make an A date. Oh well. Again, seven. Oops. But that should be all right. We can deal with a frogmite with our bolt, but I'm gonna. Wait until our upkeep because our draw step because we still could draw things. If their card in hand is stubborn denial, we can put the counter draw. Now we can get in for seven, and their next threat is answered by cryptic and. Their last card is either a land or a galvanic blast or a counter spell, I'm assuming. A tap for seven more and 
we can answer a draw to our double galvanic blast. But other than that, we can answer everything. And here's the game. GG. Overall, the deck has been performing above expectations for what I would expect out of Blue Moon. It's definitely the best that Blue Moon's been in a long time, since Blood Moon are really good right now with everyone trying out Ursa Saga. As well as Murtide Regent giving us a strong finisher that's able to close out the game in a short period of time. And without investing a lot of mana into it, since we can play it on turn 4 while still having counter spell up. I'm not really sure about the mana base of this deck since. As of right now, it's all islands, which I think is needed for counter spell and Archmage's turn, but I'm not sure if we want more Steam Vents or Sulfur Falls, or if that's gonna hurt us too much with our own Blood Moons, since we're not really able to cast Anger of the Gods on turn 3 consistently. And there's even some games when I can't find red mana for a lightning bolt that I need to cast. I'm not convinced that this can be fixed by just replacing some islands with fetches or if that even would help the situation, but we'll see. As far as changes to anything go, I think the main deck is, apart from the mana base and the number of flat moons, really set in stone. The only real changes that can be made easily right now are in the sideboard, though I'm pretty sure we need three ether gusts for various matchups like Amulet or Red Green Ponza. And we definitely want the bright. The South Guide Lanterns seem like the best graveyard aid for this deck. Since Relic would make it difficult to cast the Regents and Tournament Script isn't really a good card unless you can bring it back with Loris for free and squeeze the mana. All in all, I think I'm not gonna do any changes to the deck so far. I continue to play some more matches with it. That's it for me for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.